We begin in Libya. A long night of mystery and surprise is still unfolding. Prime Minister Ali Zidane is reportedly safe after he was kidnapped overnight in the capital, Tripoli. Libya's official news agency says Zidane was freed several hours later. Many observers think the abduction was in retaliation for Saturday's mission, where U.S. Special Forces captured a terror suspect inside Libya. Mark Phillips is tracking developments in London. Mark, good morning. Good morning, Nora. Charlie, well, it was an arrest or an abduction or a kidnapping, pick one. In the murky world of Libyan politics, it could be all of those things. The one clear fact seems to be that Libya's prime minister was taken from his residence in a Tripoli hotel. By whom? Why? Not so clear. The prime minister is Ali Zidane, removed by a gang of armed men, no shots fired, from the hotel where he's been living. But what really happened and for what reason has been a moving feast all morning. The head of security at the hotel says the gunman arrived with an arrest warrant. But the department, which is alleged to have issued the warrant, has said it knows nothing about it. The group which took the prime minister away has been calling itself the Libyan Revolutionary Operations Room. They appear to be one of the disjointed collection of militias with overlapping and conflicting loyalties that have been jockeying for control in Libya ever since the revolution that overthrew Muammar Gaddafi. One theory is the abduction was linked to the U.S. action to snag the Islamic militant Abu Anas al-Libi in Libya last week. Uh, he is a key al -Qaeda. Secretary of State John Kerry had said the U.S. is in regular touch with the Libyan government, but never confirmed it had provided advanced knowledge of the raid. Another theory is that Zidane was picked up in connection with corruption charges. This is a country where shows of force by various militias are not uncommon. In May, one of those groups surrounded the government buildings to make a point. The point made today is that the Libyan political and security structure is as stable as the proverbial house of cards. And the fear is that abducting the prime minister, even if he's then released, is the sort of action that can bring it all tumbling down. Nora, Charlie. Mark Phillips, thank you.